Hey, greetings and welcome to the channel. And today is just another daily task with E2E and Capybara. So, you know, we're kind of having difficulty with, you know, adding elms and turning out type of DOM. I think what we have here, if we add, if it, we start to add, everything is great. Everything wants to um, cooperate and function as necessary, right? And then just always wear your mask. But however, we just kind of see that. Right? And we wanted to just make sure that on adding things start to make sense, right? Um, on remove, like it seems to break things, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I just care about adding. So if I add over here and I add over here, right, then we are kind of safe and good to go. So let us try to work on that. And ultimately, you know, we might have to do a little redo because it probably wasn't considering stuff all at once. So let us just try to make sure not adding that that is the case. So let me head over to uh, testing, or should be source testing E2E. E2E, I have opened out the app. And also at the same time, I wanna make sure There's a staging test, future staging. Right, and then basically it's looking like the previous scenario that I did, so I'm just going ahead and copy and paste like so. Right. On add. All right, so. Right, and so this, I'm just going to do add or add button like so. Right, and then I wanted to do add or multiple. Right, and now I want to head back over to the I'm head here. I want to see what label these as. I want to make them very unique within these tests. Right, so that really can't be my input counter anymore. It really has to be anything I want. It has to be something else. Input counter. Yeah, I think this is on CO1. Yeah, I think I. So over to the second one. Oh, all right. No, it's actually right. Right, top level. All right, good. All right, so I kind of did a whole lot of code. I'm just going to throw it up there anyway. Um, so what I basically did here, because it's like a repeat, um, I just took the outer add button, and then obviously I'm going to not click it once, it'll click it 10 of times, although that's okay. And then what I really want to make sure is that, you know, we, uh, that like the size in, does it, but it, like I see if it's not affecting it, then I really don't care. But um, let, I, let's actually just go ahead and implement it just to make the test more powerful. Um, where is my list? I'll go ahead and get my list. And then we're just going to do a lot of random stuff here. Should do it on the top one too. Like, let's be there, and this is the code. I really should just make this a function. 
And if the that I use is still not coming from I'm gonna try to do that. Media query. Then I wish I could destructure it like in JavaScript, but that's okay. Um, all right, that is, instead of all that, I could just say media query. So media query, and then so this is gonna work. All right, with at and I'll see if that ends up working as expected. And then bundler, another. Oh man. Very good. But I don't know if hoisting is ex hoisting is this thing. It would be looking at these functions and they seem to be coming at the end, but okay, I guess hoisting is this. Okay, clear error happened. Um on the fine method with yeah, I don't really know how to go about right, right, right. I, I eat with right and then i have to say with right or index at right symbol right i just remember i forget ruby to use my symbols it should work all right and then if you want to express that in the argument You just say you just say like so, and then you put a comma. I, I think you put a comma there right, just to indicate that's an argument. Oh, do you separate these? Maybe I have to separate them. I'm not too sure. Get. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, all that, all that good stuff, right? This is a snap, right? Boom. Right, so that's a basic a good test. I wish I had like a Percy visualization, but since those numbers can constantly changing and you know, Percy, Percy costs money, I'm gonna just leave that out. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that all my nested multiple nested duplicates are working. So I'm gonna head up doing is I am going to paste that here. I'm gonna remove skip equals true and make sure no regression's happening here. Okay, so kind of remove this. Don't want that to skip. Nah, I kind of want this to survive. Good. Uh, all right, that works. So, right, so that's just a little more regression just to make sure that we don't have any regressions going on. I have to see what happens on the mode. Okay, and 
and that will be for another video. Thanks for watching.